That's the way I like it, kids, to wash your teeth after every meal. With a little bit of toothpaste is enough. Be careful, Pops. You're going to create a magic portal. Groovy? Oh, a baby dinosaur. Hello, baby. Don't cry. Groovy, please transform yourself into something. Something that babies like. I do not know. A pacifier. Groovy, look at your steak, Groovy. You're full of dinosaur slime. What do you say, Pops? Yes, okay. Children, Pops is right. Our little friend has sneaked into the present through a magic portal. We have to travel back in time to find their parents. Is that all right, little dino? Pops, please open the magic portal. Ready for a time-traveling adventure? Arrive. Welcome to the Jurassic. It turns out that before humans, the Earth was inhabited by these huge dinosaurs. What do you think? Groovy, we need a vehicle to escape. No, Groovy, no. Something that goes faster. Run! They are T-Rex, the most dangerous dinosaurs! Good. We've given him the slip. We'd better find the parents of our little friend. This Jurassic is dangerous for a human. Two Martians and a voiceover. And now what? Oh no! Another dinosaur is coming! Luckily, he has come to help us! It's a harmless Triceratops. Oh, it's your mom! What a happy coincidence! Well, kids, problem solved. He can come back to present. This must be his dad. Oh, poor, he has a Flemigan. Of course, as at this time, they did not wash their teeth. It is normal that it hurts. Groovy, could you help him? Circles, circles, up and down, three times a day, and smile, smile, smile. Goodbye, friends. Kids, not so fast. What are you forgetting? Right, you have to brush your teeth. Remember, to the dentist you won't go if you wash your teeth more. Hmm, Pops, what are you up to? Pops has opened a portal. Where does it go? Pops, have you brought us to the era of dinosaurs? We are at the Jurassic. Wait, kids. This can be very dangerous. Phew. At least we have Groovy who can transform if we need it. This Brontosaurus seems very nice though. Those T-Rex, not that much. Kids, look, what's that? It's a dinosaur egg, like the one in the book. And 
It's in danger. Groovy, you have to do something. Kids, we must save the egg. Groovy, you can. It's there. Oh, oh, run. Kids, how do you think they can do it? Pops, I have an idea. A pterodactyl, that's right. Now you can save it and take it back to its nest. Well done, kids. They're like the ones in your book, Phoebe. Do you want to keep playing? Well, what kind of dinosaur will they be? Brontosaurus? No, Phoebe, they can't be Brontosaurus egg. Brontosaurus are huge to live on top of this little hill. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex? No, Groovy, they can't be from a T-Rex. T-Rex can't fly, and it would be too difficult for them to feed the babies. <laughs> That's it, Pops. It must be a dinosaur that can fly. Do you already know what dinosaur it is? Exactly. Pterodactyls. <laughs> oh, and they think that you are their mom. Oh, that's their real mom. She's very grateful. Good job, kids. Oh, wow. What a long day, kids. It's time to go to sleep. Good night. I love diving. It's very fun and you can discover a beautiful world underwater. Look how many fishes. Look, a starfish. It's beautiful. <laughs> Phoebe, are you looking for mermaids again? Mermaids? Mm, not sure. But there are lots of crabs at the seabed. Phoebe, mermaids don't ig... What? What is it? A mermaid? A shark! Wait, it's a baby shark. Where are his parents? Don't worry, we'll help you find them. Submarine mission, finding the shark family. Wow, a clownfish. Let's ask him. He's with a surgeon fish and a turtle. Haha, <laughs> like in Finding Nemo movie. They may know something. Dory, have you seen any shark? What a great idea, Groovy. If you transform into aquatic animals, you'll be able to move underwater more easily. Well, not always. <laughs> Seahorses aren't really agile. We're learning a lot of animals today. Let's ask him if he's seen your family, baby shark. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen any shark? Miss Dolphin, did you see a shark? Mr. Swordfish? Jellyfish? Whale? No, don't worry. Fish have a really bad memory. I'm sure someone has seen them, but can't remember it. We'll have to look for clues. Look, is that a fishing net? Hmm, they seem scared. Let's go and check. Baby shark, your parents. Oh no, we have to hurry. You'll have to cut the fishing net faster.
Good job, kids. Do you remember the name of all the animals we learnt today? Yes, starfish. Crab, really good. Yes, clownfish, like Nemo and his dad. Great, surgeon fish. Sea turtle, they can live more than 100 years. Seahorse, what a beauty. Jellyfish, careful with them. The intelligent dolphin. Whale, huge. Shark, how scary. Let's take care of the ocean so they can all live happily. Phoebe, your ladybug costume is super cool. Ah, Groovy, your cat noir one is awesome too. Wait, why is the park so dirty? People should use the litter bins. That's it. Phoebe, great idea. Superhero's mission, clean the park. Really good, kids. It's sad that people throw trash on the floor and the water. Let's do our bit. Each bottle we collect, it'll be a bottle less in the river. And then we recycle them. Hmm, a little more. Almost. Careful, Phoebe. No. Groovy, help her. Cristiano. Haha, <laughs> well done, Groovy. Now, children, you have to be more careful. Don't worry, I have an idea. Come, Groovy, let's take advantage of the fact that everyone believes you are Cristiano. Kids, listen. Cristiano Ronaldo's going to teach you not to throw rubbish on the ground. You must recycle. We can't throw rubbish on the ground, but deposit our rubbish in the corresponding containers. Will you help us to clean the park then? Beautiful. Thank you all, kids. Every country organizes recycling in a different way. Ask your parents how you should do it. And try it like it's a game. Very good, kids. What was that? It's okay. Don't worry. That's cool, Groovy. going on? Let's find out. The street is under construction. I think it's going to take them a while. I think we have to get used to this. They still have a lot to do. How? Already? Hmm, this is weird. Kids, do you think Phoebe and Groovy should help? What fun, a new adventure construction machines are broken? 
and they couldn't finish the work. They can't by himself. He needs our help. Phoebe and Groovy will help you. Hmm. Groovy can transform into anything. Right, Phoebe? For example, into a drill. Uh, well, um, what about into an excavator? No, Groovy, be careful. Boxes are fragile. We better try with something else. Demolition crane? No, no, this was not a good idea. I know. Groovy, why don't you let them operate you? They're the expert. The street looks great. Phoebe and Groovy are playing tag in the loft. Be careful, kids. Don't hurt yourself. What's that? Looks like a treasure map. Oh. And that's a pirate hat. Who's going to wear it? <laughs> run, Phoebe, run! But Phoebe, are you sure the map says the treasure is there? And how are you going to dig up the treasure? Groovy, you can transform into a shovel. Seems there's no sign of the treasure, right, Mr. Mole? Kids, why don't you check the map again? There's no treasure here. Wow, a secret passage. How cool. Surely it will take us to the treasure. It's, it's too dark. This is a little scary. I know. Groovy, why don't you transform into something shiny? What was that? Hmm, so weird. Well, let's keep going. Look, guys, we're at the beach. I'm sure the treasure is nearby. Will the treasure be buried here? Watch out! The parrot has taken the map. Now it is impossible to know where is the treasure. Kids, don't be sad. We're having a great time, even if we don't find the treasure. We're at the beach. Why don't we build a sandcastle?
What? Is it the treasure? How exciting! What will be inside? What is it? A boat inside a bottle? I can't believe it! It's a pirate ship! All aboard, kids! So fun! Something tells me we're going to live a great adventure. Phoebe and Groovy are living a real adventure. But they don't know. There's intruders on board. The famous Treasure Island. We are getting close. Oh no! They've taken the only boat. They want to be the first to arrive to keep the treasure for themselves. Groovy, quick, transform into a boat. <laughs> but with a motor, quick. <laughs> well done, Groovy. This is super exciting. Groovy speeds up and shows what he's capable of. Really good. Champions! Uh-oh. It smells like trouble. The island is not empty. Kids, don't worry, we'll find the way to get out of here. But Pops, where are you going? Look guys, this must be the head of the tribe. Pops, he makes them believe he's their god. You can't complain. Thanks to Pops, they treat you like kings now. <laughs> Phoebe, don't be afraid. The pirate needs your help to dig up the treasure. Haha, <laughs> kids. We'll know what is inside soon. The pirate has a plan. You have to work all together to get the treasure. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day to... Run! Now that everyone is pursuing Pops, you can dig up the treasure. Don't you know how to do it? Try working all together. Wow, working all together, you made it. How cool! Kids, I know you want to know what is inside the treasure chest. But first, why don't we check on Pops and the Pirate? They managed to hide, thank God. Let's go back to the village. What's the treasure hidden inside it? Another pirate hat? It's a magic hat. Is his girlfriend? She was trapped in the hat by a pirate curse. You've saved her. Good job. Run, they've discovered you. Groovy, we have to escape. Transform into a sledge and ride the dunes. This story has a great end because you all have worked all together to get the treasure. Remember kids, if you can't all be your own, 
You sure can with your friends. What a lovely day to go on a field trip. But if Groovy doesn't stop singing, it's going to start raining a lot. We've arrived to the Astronomy Museum. Look, Groovy, it looks like a flying saucer. Oh no, we've forgotten the solar system model inside the bus. Now you have nothing to show at the science contest. Kids, we have to reach the bus. Groovy, transform into a motorbike. A motorbike toy? Damn, the bus is already too far. We'll have to improvise. Haha, <laughs> Groovy, it's just a little spider. Stop playing with a telescope and look for something to build a new model. Hey, hey, kids, it says private. That means you can't enter inside. Hey, listen to me. Shh, children, you can't be here. But Pops, are you misbehaving too? Don't erase that. What are you writing? It's not understandable at all. Look for something to build a new model. Great, and now let's go. The contest is about to start. Haha, <laughs> Groovy, you're hopeless. I know you love fruits, but you almost ate the whole sun. Children, the judge says you have added one extra planet. Which planet is that, may I ask? No way. It's Groovy and Pop's planet, sure. But that planet is still unknown to anyone on Earth. Kids, let's remember the planets of the solar system. Around the sun, we have first, Mercury, second, Venus, third, Earth. Does this sound familiar, Earthlings? Fourth, Mars, fifth, Jupiter, sixth, Saturn, seventh, Uranus, eighth, Neptune, and ninth. What planet is this? Oh, Groovy. <laughs> I can't believe it. Pop solved the formulas of the laboratory's whiteboard. Now the scientists know where she has to look with a telescope to find... Exactly. A new planet in the solar system. Groovy and Pop's planet. Kids, a new planet of the solar system has been discovered thanks to Phoebe and Groovy. They had already included it in their model. <laughs> okay, and thanks to Pops who solved the formulas of the whiteboard. Groovy, a new planet of the solar system has been discovered. Remember kids, science can be really cool, but you'll have to work hard to discover something new. There's nothing better than a great breakfast to start the day, right Groovy? He has eaten his and Phoebe's. Time to go. Phoebe is so hooked on her new mystery book that in the end, she will be late to school. When you are in a hurry, 
the best is the tricycle. No traffic jam, no contamination, and you do some sport. Oh no, you got a flat tire and we are in a hurry. Who could have been? Good idea, Phoebe. This is a mystery for a super detective. Groovy, Phoebe needs a magnifying glass. Help her. This is a case for Phoebe Holmes and Dr. Groovy. Today, in the Flat Tire Mystery. What a hole! To find the guilty, the first to do is look for clues. What do we have here? Hmm, three clues. First one seems like a dog footprint. Second one, a human footprint. And third, a bird footprint. Where should we start? First one. There we go. Number one clue, dog's footprints. Careful, Phoebe. That mutt looks suspicious. Let's question him. Groovy, transform into a dog and take his bone. Mr. Dog, do you know something about the flat tire of this girl's tricycle? The dog is not guilty. He has an alibi. He is chained. Poor dog, he couldn't leave his garden. It's really late. Let's hurry up. First clue wasn't good. Let's continue with the second one. Second clue, human's footprint. Another false clue. These are Phoebe's footprints on her way from home. Third clue, bird's footprints. Mystery solved. It has been this woodpecker that has pierced the wheel with its beak. It's elemental, my dear Groovy. Let's go, kids. There's no time to lose. The mystery has been solved, but not the problem. We can't use the tricycle, and you have to arrive to school on time. Have you thought the same as me? by the skin of your teeth. Remember kids, if you want to arrive on time, you have to leave with time. You never know what can happen on the way. No clues are needed to know that this mischief has been Phoebe's idea. Elemental, my dear children. Good morning, kids. I brought you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. You are green and yellow, too. Blue and pink. 
We also have six drawings of animals. Fox, frog, chicken, ladybug, flamingo, and shark, like baby shark. Animals are so cool. Do you know the color of each animal? Groovy, transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Hmm, red. Which of these animals are red? <laughs> exactly. The ladybug is red. Groovy, now orange. Hmm, what will it be? Yes, very good, Phoebe. The fox is orange. Yellow. Groovy, you try now. Which animal is yellow? No, no, Groovy. Flamingos aren't yellow. Kids, help him. <laughs> That's it. Chicks are yellow. It's Green's turn. <laughs> yes, Groovy, you are green. What other animal is also green? Yes, the frog. Blue. Like a baby shark, yes. There's only one color left. Which color is the flamingo? Exactly, pink. Very good, Groovy. Hmm. I think you know all the colors perfectly. Do you want to try with the fruits? Groovy, you now all by yourself. <laughs> with a little help, it's okay too. We have tangerine, Strawberry, banana, blueberries, bataya, and kiwi. What color is the tangerine? Exactly. Tangerines are orange. And the strawberries? Haha, <laughs> very good. They're red. And the banana. Oh, that's right. And little blueberries? Aha, <laughs> blue. What a team. There's only one left. The Pattaya. Very good, kids. Pink. Great, kids. Last time. Red, like a ladybug or a strawberry. Orange, like the beautiful fox or the delicious tangerine. Yellow, like chicks or bananas. Green, like a frog or the inside of a kiwi. Sure, and broccoli. Blue, like the baby shark or the blueberries. And pink, like the flamingo or the pataya. <laughs> and like pops. Learning is so fun.
What are you doing? Are you trying to say something? Oh, yes. Subscribe, kids. Groovy the Martian, official channel.